Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Defining Constants. In this video, we're going to be briefly covering PHP constants and how they differ from PHP variables. As per usual, you can follow along in the Code Dynamic Websites course files that you downloaded a while back. We're in 04 Defining Constants. Alternatively, you can, in your browser, navigate to localhost port 8888, or if you watched the last video, you probably saw the little snippet at the end that said, click Next Lecture. And that would have taken you from more variables to defining constants. All right, so let's jump in. So a constant is similar to a variable in the sense that you can store information in a keyword that can be used throughout your web page. So a constant is kind of like a bucket, like the variable. However, the value of a constant cannot be changed, unlike a variable. So in the variable bucket, you can swap out what you want that bucket to hold. So if you know, if one variable is holding one string of text and then later on down your page or uh, later on in your code, you want to change that variable to, and reuse it, repurpose it, have some different content held within the variable, you can do that. But with constants, once you define what the constant is, you can't change it. It is what it is. So it's literally constant. It's also worth noting that constants are case sensitive and are written in all caps by convention. They don't have to be, but that's the convention so you know that it is a constant. It's just easier to differentiate. So here's how you define a constant in PHP. So obviously within your PHP declaration, I've removed it from this line just for uh, so it looks easier on the eyes. You, you type out define open it with a opening parentheses, close it with a closing parentheses, and obviously a semicolon. In between that, the first argument right here, in between a string or two quotation marks, you would write what the constant is called. So for example, in this example, I wrote title is going to be what the constant is called. Then you put a comma, and then the second argument is within strings as well, what you want the constant to be. So the value of the constant, and in this case, defining constants. So to, to display a, con the, a constant on your page, you can echo it using PHP like this. So here's your PHP declaration. I'm using the echo function, and then you write the constant just all in all caps without the string, and then end it with a semicolon. So this will actually spit out the text defining constants. So this is a very mini lecture because in the next lecture, we're actually going to, as I like to call it, get your hands dirty and try out what you've learned so far. So for, at this point, you've learned about variables and constants. So I'm going to, I'm going to get you to actually try to to use these uh, to use these things that you've learned and put it into practice so that it actually makes more sense. So I'll see you there.